My name is Chris uh, Schwartz. I play in a band called the Mad Dogs and I uh, play guitar and do vocals. The band's been around for about two years. Um, it's, kinda, it's kind of been a little bit of a revolving thing. It started from another band I played in. Uh, more of a street rock type band, not so much lovey dovey kind of stuff. And it uh, came from the band called Berserker ID, and we had kind of another band in between. It's been kind of the same cast of members for quite a few years now, like five years. Nate Dog is pretty lucky. I remember I was, about 13, I was about 13 years old. I'm, like, I'm 34 now. And uh, my friends, well, my friends' brother, older brothers were getting into punk rock and stuff like Dead Kennedys and Fugazi and stuff like that. And we got, you know, we got mixtapes from our like older brothers and our friends' older brothers. And then we got like some scenes when they went to shows like other places and stuff. And we just kind of, punk just kind of happened. So, are you guys from are you guys from Calgary, Alberta? Fuck that scene's all right. There, we got some, there's some cool bands around. Um, there's some guys working really hard at it. It's a lot of fun. I mean, um, honestly, like we're pretty. It's pretty hard being from Canada and playing in a punk band. Like, I'm, I'm from Calgary. There's one other city that's in like a reasonable driving distance, which is like two and a half hours. So when we come out to like play in the bigger city like Vancouver, it takes us 10, 10 hours to get here. So I mean we you know we left the other night two in the morning. Drove, drove through the night, played the show in Victoria last night on the island, and we came back over here and then we have one more stop tomorrow night in Camp Loops. Play with like some of our really good friends. Kinda cool. Oh Vancouver's got like a Vancouver's got a pretty life in the punk scene, to be honest. Like there's like guys like the guy who put the show on tonight, Seamus, like not your buddy. He's like he, he does like there's a lot of punk shows on around the area. There's another punk bar down there that we play at all the time called Funkies. There's a lady called Wendy13. She's been putting up punk shows since I was like, I don't even think, I don't know, I was like a little kid. Like my friend, older brother's bands, used to come play there when they were like 18 years old. And she, she was putting them on then. She was like the first lady to give us a punk show in here when we were younger. So it's like, she's still doing it. This is soulful, man. Anything that, anything that can grab your soul, pull out a string, something I can relate to, then I'm there. I mean, I don't get, electronic music doesn't do it for me. I mean, maybe electronic music had some sort of, uh, something that could yank on me. If pull from it here, then I would like it. I like bands that I can relate to. Hope the sounds, you guys are awesome. Thanks for coming to Canada. Thank y'all for coming
Thank you guys for being so nice. Thanks for finding the night. That was fucking cool.